I got in a basement the year they broke up. It was 2012, I would just entered my sophomore year of high school and was discovering many of the bands that I still listen to to this day. Earlier that year, I would sunk my teeth into groups like Tiger's Draw and Tidal Fight, but there was just something different about Basement. Basement was the first band in this scene that truly made me feel like I was just as much part of the band as they were. They made it impossible to not want to support them. From the way they spoke to their fans, the way they'd play live, and the pure infectious excitement they had about what they were doing aided in cultivating a community like nothing I've seen before. They have the type of fans that will listen to their music for the rest of their lives. Out of all the memories I have stored in my brain, few are as fresh as this one. I remember I walked home from school that day. It was still scorching hot out, but you could sense the transition from summer to fall was imminent. Part of my daily ritual was getting home from school, chilling on my bed with my iPad, and either trying to find new music, watch band interviews, or look up a video of a band playing live. That day, I decided I wanted to know what Basement was like live. So I went onto YouTube, typed in Basement Band Live, and came across this video. And I'm unafraid to say that it completely changed my life and the way I look at music. But I was sad to learn I'd become a Basement fan in the midst of their first breakup. This particular five minute clip of Basement playing in Melbourne destroyed me. It struck me so hard that eight years later, I'm still trying to figure out why. I remember after watching it, the thought flowing through my head was, why can't all bands be like this? Because right off the bat, you notice something. Singer Andrew Fisher cannot stop smiling or contain his excitement. And if that's the energy your frontman is giving off, how could the crowd not instantly match that energy times 10? And that's exactly what happens in this video. It's one of the most cathartic performances you'll ever be able to watch. You can tell he believes every word he sings, and based on that, so does the audience. Their performance comes across as selfless and devoid of ego, but that's not to say they don't do this for themselves and only do it for their fans, but rather, I believe they've found a balance. It feels like they do this for themselves, but not in the sense of wanting to benefit by earning large amounts of cash or accruing the largest fan base ever, but for reasons like accomplishing personal goals, living authentically, and pursuing their passions, and doing things that make them feel something. I'm amazed at how they're able to keep up a DIY type of feel while simultaneously being signed to one of the biggest rock labels out there. You can tell they haven't lost their spirit or drive despite the success they've found. Their drummer James, better known as Crab, still designs a lot of their merch and does cool illustrations for tour posters and promotional materials. Their guitarist Alex Henry has a brand called Sharison, where he recycles vintage crewnecks and turns them into wearable pieces of art. He goes out to thrift stores, buys old crewnecks, and then sews on pieces of felt. Name one other band member from a notable rock band who's doing something that cool and DIY. When it comes to what makes Basement's music so special and stand out, I believe there are a few factors at play, starting with the members themselves. There's something about bands who have a consistent lineup, as in there's not a rotating cast of characters cycling in and out of the band. And as far as I can tell, Basement has had the exact same lineup since their inception. I believe this scenario gives you the greatest possible chance of crafting the best music you can create. Because everyone knows each other, the chemistry is there, you feel comfortable, it just helps mold an environment that's ideal for creating and uplifting one another's ideas. And then you pair that with the fact that all of them are extremely gifted musicians, and the result is insane. Seldom do I encounter an album that's just pure honesty, but that's what this album is. Even the name, I Wish I Could Stay Here, immediately it lets you know what it's all about. Which leads us into the next great thing about Basement, their honesty and simplicity. I grouped these two together because they play off each other to create the feeling Basement wants you to feel. Andrew Fisher's lyrics are clear, 
concise, and feel like getting hit by a garbage truck at 5 in the morning. You almost wish he'd say more in the lyrics, but that would kill the natural curiosity that comes with having less as opposed to more. By saying less, Andrew's lyrics hijack your brain in two different ways. Firstly, you're more easily able to lock into what he's saying and can focus on each individual word he says. For example, in Fading where he sings, Rain falls hard, washes me away. I feel sick, I feel sick, so empty, so ordinary. It's ridiculous how much is going on in these mere 16 words. Feeling sick, empty, ordinary. You could spend months interpreting these lyrics and still come up with ideas about what they might mean. It creates a cycle where you want to know more, but at the same time, you want to keep them somewhat mysterious, but you also can't help but think about them all the time. The final component of what makes Basement so outstanding is their passion. Which I know sounds vague, but when I refer to passion, I'm thinking of two different things. Number one being Andrew Fisher's vocal delivery. If you played a Basement song to a polygraph, it would pass with flying colors. Because you simply can't fake those kinds of vocals. They punch you in the gut and make you miss things you forgot. Number two being Alex Henry. Out of all the members, I can't help but love Alex the most. He brings something truly unique to the group. Yo, what's up? My name is Alex. I play in Basement and you're watching Windows Down Magazine. His unquenchable curiosity and excitement bleed into everything he does, and Basement is no exception. The vibe he gives off is like a 14-year-old kid discovering all of this stuff for the first time. And that's his energy 24-7. And I can only hope that I can embody some of that as I carry out my creative ventures. You know how in the beginning of the video I said I got in a basement as they were breaking up? This is our last song. Well, fortunately, that breakup didn't last too long. After going out to dinner for my mom's birthday, late January 2014, an article surfaced on the internet letting us know that Basement was back. Later that summer, they released their EP Further Sky, and the rest is history. I'll always love and support Basement no matter what. They may never make albums like these two again, but the music they create today is still wonderful and true to who they are. Long live Basement. Thank you for watching. We've all sailed through storms just like Steamboat Willie, but this time we actually might drown. Besides cash in my pockets and girls, I think I'll pray.